Good morning. Today's lesson is 8.1. Today we're going to be solu doing solutions of equations. Our essential question, how do you determine whether a number is a solution of an equation? An equation is a statement that two mathematical expressions are equal. These are examples of equations. 8 plus 12 equals 20. 4 equals a minus 3. 2d equals 14. You need to know what a is. If you know what a, if you know that it equals 14, then you can obviously figure out a, right? And if you know that 2 times something equals 14, you can obviously figure out that d must be 7, right? Because 2 times 7 equals 14. So the solution of an equation is the value of the variable that makes the equation true. So if I put 7 in where that d is, that statement would be true. But if I put 4, that statement wouldn't be true because 2 times 4 is not 14, right? So x plus 3 equals 5. So if x equals 2, then it is the solution of the equation because 2 plus 3 equals 5. But if we said x was 7, then that would not be, 7 would not be the solution. Let's unlock the problem. In 2009 into 2010 season, the women's basketball team of Duke's University lost 5 of their 29 games. The equation w plus 5 equals 29 can be used to find the team's number of wins, or w. Determine whether w equals 14 or w equals 24 is the solution of the equation, and then tell what the solution means. So you can use substitution to determine the solution. Check whether w is 14 is the solution. So we're going to write the equation, w plus 5 equals 29. And then we're going to substitute the 14 for w. So then we have 14 plus 5. Does it equal 29? No, it's 19, right? And 19 does not equal 29. So now let's check whether w is 24. So we're going to write the equation, w plus 5 equals 29. Then we're going to substitute the 24 for w, and 24 plus 5 is 29, so the equation is true, w equals 24. So the solution to the equation, w plus 5 equals 29, is w is equaling 24, which means that the team won 24 games. Okay, determine whether the given value of the variable is the solution of the equation. So we have x minus um, 7 tenths equals 4 and 3 tenths. So if x is 3.6, we're going to see, is that truly the solution? So first we write the equation, then we're going to substitute the 3.6 for the x, okay? And then we're going to subtract 3.6 minus 0.7 is 2.9, and 2.9 is not 4.3. So it is not equal. So the equation is not true when x equals 3.6. So 3.6 is not going to be the solution. All right, so now we have one third a equals one fourth. And they're wanting us to substitute three quarters for the a. So let's see if three quarters is the solution. So let's write the equation. We have one third a equals one quarter. And then we're gonna substitute the given value. So we're gonna substitute that three quarters. So now we have one third times three quarters and one times three is three. Three times four is 12. So let's move this over. And oops, let me do that. Let me do it this way because it's kind of showing the other answer. So we have 1 third times 3 quarters. So 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. I can reduce. 3 goes into 3 one time and 3 goes into 12 four times. So I get 1 fourth and 1 fourth is equal to 1 fourth. So the equation is true when 3 quarters is A. So A equals 3 quarters is going to be the solution. Okay, example two. The sixth grade class president serves a term of eight months. Janice has already served five months of her term as class president. The equation m plus five equals eight can be used to determine the number of months that Janice has left. Use mental math to find the solution of the equation. So think, what number plus five is equal to eight? Well, three plus five equals eight, right? So if you use the substitution, you can check whether m is three. So we have m plus five equals eight. So if I substitute the three for the m, I get 3 plus 5 equals 8, and that is going to be equal. So m equals 3 is the solution of the equation, and 3 months of Janice's term remain. Okay, so determine whether the given value of the variable is a solution to the equation. So on this one, we have x plus, x plus 12 equals 29, and they want us to substitute x for 7. So all we do is we're going to put that 7 in, and 7 plus 12 well, 7 plus 12 is 19, right? So it is not a solution because 19 does not equal 29. Let's do the next one. On the next one, they want us to substitute 15 for n, right? So 15 minus 13. 
Well, 15 minus 13 is going to be 2, and they want us to know if it equals 2, and yes, it does. So 2 is a solution. All right, the rest you're going to do with a partner or on your own, or if you need me, I'm going to be at the back table. Good luck.